The study with Avelumab was actually a larger study. It included 88 patients, and that study again led to FDA approval. And so uh, there's interest in exploring Avelumab in the frontline setting, appreciating that the FDA approved label is actually fr frontline and beyond. And so th these data will help confirm the findings that we've already learned about. Tumorca cell carcinoma is a rare cutaneous malignancy. It's found in approximately 1,500 patients uh, per year in the United States. And there is a lot of interest and excitement in exploring immunotherapy um, with uh, PD-1 inhibitors. And there's already some experience that has been published. Uh, Paul Niem uh, published initial data in the New England Journal of Medicine, really highlighting the efficacy of pembrolizumab as a frontline agent, noting responses that appear to be uh, quite high, approaching 60% and with the follow-up thus far, very promising. Um, Avelumab uh, initial data uh, was presented last year where in patients that were refractory to prior chemotherapies, the response rate was approximately 35%. And we have since learned that those responses at one year are very uh, durable, as most patients who have responded continue to respond. Uh, as a result of that initial data that was presented, Avelumab is now FDA approved for Merkel cell carcinoma patients. This particular data that we're looking at today, uh, today really highlights frontline of Elimab. And what we're seeing is, again, similar to what had been previously reported with pembrolizumab, the responses are actually quite high, approaching 60 percent. There's a need for ongoing follow-up, as, as this is uh, quite early. Um, but uh, if we see what we've seen with the previous um, of Elimab studies, we're hopeful that frontline of Elimab will really um, become the standard of care for our Merkel cell patients.